Survivalist Seeds – Building a Self-Reliant Food Supply The current state of the global food supply has people turning to survivalist seeds to ensure their well-being should the supplies become depleted because of climate change, international conflict, or natural disasters. Stopping their dependence on consumerism for their nutritional needs, these folks are preparing themselves for any situation. You can do the same with the help of Absolute Rights and their new special report, Seeds for Life, Preservation, Extraction, Storage, and Trade of Seeds. The report is a simple, time-tested system of growing your own food supply and covers everything from acquiring organic seeds to harvesting multiple crops on a consistent basis. It's not just an instruction list that says dig hole, bury seeds, water and wait. It's a comprehensive plan that provides information on storing and caring for seeds until you need them to ensure maximum output. It's a guide to choosing from the multitude of seed offerings and finding ones that grow well in your city. Plus, it presents a method of bartering, trading, and selling excess seeds, whether there's a crisis situation or the prices explode. According to the World Hunger Organization, 925 million people suffer from hunger around the world, down from just over 1 billion in 2009. Poverty and hunger go hand in hand, so discovering the reason for most global hunger is not that difficult. Global food prices continue to rise, inspiring the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, to establish its Initiative on Soaring Food Prices. They claim that the global economic downturn and skyrocketing food prices have forced millions of people into hunger and poverty. By December 2010, the website says, the FAO food price index has topped its 2008 peak, with sugar, oils, and fats increasing the most. In March 2011, the index dropped for the first time after eight months of continuous price spikes. The index dropped to an 11-month low in October 2011, but food prices still remain very volatile. Though the majority of people affected thus far from food price hikes are from poor, developing countries, it's an indication of where we are headed if changes aren't made. One of the ideas behind the initiative on soaring food prices involves encouraging small-scale farmers to grow more food and make more money. That's a change that can be made today with Seeds for Life. The report goes into detail on the procurement, planting technique, cultivation, and safe storage of seeds, giving people the fullest and most comprehensive understanding of the process available anywhere. The family farm is a thing of the past, nearly eliminated from food production because of the small but dominant conglomerate of enormous agribusiness corporations. Not only does this put the price-making power in the hands of the rich and powerful, but it decreases the quality and nutritional value of the food. The report is not just a procedural guide to planting seeds as a fun hobby. It's a guide to using seeds for survival. Should our country face political or social unrest, it wouldn't take long to empty the grocery shelves then the majority of Americans would be short on luck. The ones who got a copy of Seeds for Life will rest easy knowing they've done all they can to prepare and they've already validated their knowledge by planting a crop of seeds before the crisis even hit. Starting immediately is a must. Any food growing takes practice and time. No matter how small or insignificant it may seem at first, every crop has to start somewhere. Whether it's planting in a container or using small plots of land, the time to start getting seeds and planting them is now. If you're ready to find out how to get 20 to 30 pounds of free organic survivalist seeds for use immediately, then you need Seeds for Life. Spread this information to friends and family and find a copy of the report at www.seedsforlife.com.